Today I actually have the brand new BAM Geek Mystery Box. So this used to be called the Pop Culture Box, but I think a couple months ago, maybe back in June or maybe July, they changed it officially now to the BAM Geek Box. Every single box will have an exclusive pin. It'll have an autograph 8x10, using some kind of like a movie prop replica. It'll have like a scratch off card where you can win like PlayStation 4s and big screen TVs or free BAM boxes. And there's usually other things in this box. So I think this retails for about 30 bucks, remember correctly, like 30 bucks plus shipping. I'm actually leaving a direct link down below to the BAM box. Check it out because they've got the BAM Geek box, the BAM Horror box, the BAM Gamer box. They also have like more higher end boxes that are like 200 bucks. Like they did a, a Stephen King box and they did a Back to the Future box. Those are more expensive ones, like 200 bucks. But here we go, BAM Geek. So they don't actually do it by months anymore. They do it by like volume and box number. So this is like volume something, box something. Open it up, you just see the BAM paper at first. Go back inside, see what is this? It's like metal or something. Okay, it's different. I guess pull this thing out first. Oh, it is a license plate. Lawyer up. Um, this play has to do with uh, oh, the Breaking Bad spinoff. What are that one's called? Oh, uh, Better Call Saul is what I'm thinking. I watched. This is probably what it's from. It's probably Better Call Saul. It's all I can think of when it's Lawyer up. I watched season one of Better Call Saul. I just didn't care for it. It just didn't strike me. I've heard it gets a lot better as the seasons went on. I'll give it a try someday. I love Breaking Bad. The Breaking Bad was one of the best TV shows of all it, Top five, top six of all time. Fantastic show, The Breaking Bad. Then they did that spinoff movie on Netflix with uh, with Jesse Pinkman. And the spinoff movie, it was called like El Dorado or something like that. El Camino something. That was a was pretty good, I thought. But this is probably... Probably better call Saul, but watch I probably am wrong on that But they had this thing in the box like bent like this in the box now the license plate is kind of permanently bent a little bit so They should have actually got a little bit bigger boxes instead of bending the license plate to put into the box That was kind of an odd choice of them to make here. We go monthly pin Bag says this pin has limited release, so some people will have upgrade boxes with upgraded items. This is this is volume five, box number seven. It is a drink cup with a straw. Not too sure that's what that's referring to. A drink cup and a straw. Okay, that makes sense, right? Let me find a scratch off. This is scratch off. Yep, here we go. This is the scratch off. I actually have talked to a few people who've actually won these scratch offs now. I've talked to a few people who've won free band box, they won free art prints. Is it my turn to win something? Let's find out. You gotta match three symbols and win a giveaway. Like I said, there's PS4s, there's big screen TVs. I think there might be computers. You can just win free band boxes. All kinds of goodies that you can win. First one is celebrity signed autograph. Second one is a free band box. So obviously you gotta match three symbols. I didn't win. <laughs> it is a 50 inch 4K TV. So obviously struck out on this completely. Hmm. Okay, so it didn't win. Let's keep going. Next, we have, oh, like the monthly trading card. This is, we got Wonder Woman, cool. This is numbered 1,841 out of 2,500. Here's the back of the card. So it says, congratulations, or BAM Geek Art Select Card, congratulations. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Collect both cards to make the set. So usually the next month we'll have the other card for it. And this is the artist, Jason Miller. Like I said, number out of 2,500. Okay, next, this should be the monthly art print, if I can get it out. Monthly art print. I'm sure which way is up, which way is down yet. We have, um, what is this? 
Is this Umbrella Academy, maybe? I see an umbrella on it. Guessing maybe this is Umbrella Academy. It is signed by the artist and numbered 300 out of only 2,200 made. The back of it has the certificate of authenticity for BAM. A little, like, card right there. It says BAM Authentic, certificate of authenticity. This fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to BAM Box. It has been hand-signed by the artist. It is guaranteed to be authentic. Most art prints now, I sell them. I kept them for a while, but now, honestly, I sell most of these art prints. Sometimes the art prints can go for 15, 20 bucks. Sometimes as low as like 10 bucks, eight bucks. But this one, if it's Umbrella Academy, this might be like a 10 or $15 art print, possibly. Maybe, no guarantees, obviously. Here we go, here's the last item. This will be the autograph eight by 10. And now they actually, everything and now is authenticated by Beckett, which I think is freaking awesome. All autographs will be authenticated by Beckett, which Beckett is one of the big three authentication services. You got JSA, PSA, and Beckett. If it has a, a Beckett certificate on it, you know it is authentic. You ready? Who's this one of? Three and two, one. Who signed it? Is it awesome? Hopefully it's incredible. And we got... Oh, uh, bro, what's his name? I actually have got his autograph now two or it's probably the third time um, out of mystery boxes. He was he was starred in uh, I think he, he was in a Terminator. He was in what was that? What was that show called? He was in Sin City, and he was also in the 1990s movie with Katie Holmes about uh, mind, the movie about mind control is actually pretty good, whatever that one was called. I can't think of this actor's name, but I think this is the third one that I have got from this actor. Um, I know I, I got the previous two out of Zobie mystery boxes. One of them was an actual Zobie mystery box. The other one was like a Zobie, like a, like a, like a mystery autograph sale where you spend like 40, 50 bucks, you get like two or three signed 8x10s. So since I have three of these now of the same actor, I'll probably choose my favorite one or two. Probably just one now and just probably just sell the rest. I don't need like three of the same, the same guy. But anyway, let's look at the cheat sheet. Let's see what we got for this month. Here's inside the box. All cleared out. So here is the back of the cheat sheet. What you're looking at. And here's the actual cheat sheet right there. What I'll be reading off of. Okay, so here we go. Here's the autograph. We got celebrity autograph. These autograph prints are signed by, oh, that's it, Nick Stahl. That's his name, Nick Stahl. From one of the most iconic movie series of all time, Terminator. Look out for variant print as well. So I'm not just sure which one. Oh, look at the variant print. Okay, I see. He's It's like a, like a, a bronzy color. But yeah, cool. Yeah, Nick Stahl. Then we have the fan art pen. This collection of fan art pens are by Brian Romero, and they feature one of Adult Swim's favorite fan favorite shows, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I've never seen it. Keep your eyes out for the variant pens as well. I did not get a variant pen. The variant pens was look like a man who has French fries on his head, and then maybe like sausage balls or something. I don't even know. Fan art print. Here we go. Check out this awesome fan art print by artist. Ryan Van Doggen featuring the Umbrella Academy. So I was correct on that. I just saw the Umbrella, I guess, Umbrella Academy. Keep a lookout for the other two art print variants. Mine is just the common. The other, the variants were green colored. And then we have the artist select card, wherever that went. Artist Jason Miller illustrates fan favorite Wonder Woman. Also been lookout for variants of this awesome select art card. I think the, the variants are like a uh, foil. They're like foil cards. Then last item, we have the prop replica. Check out this license plate prop from the award-winning TV series Breaking Bad. Don't forget to lawyer up. So actually, this is from Breaking Bad. So I guess, you know, Saul Goodman, this is on his car in Breaking Bad. I figured it was probably from Better Call Saul, but it's actually from Breaking Bad. So <laughs> I missed that. I kind of got it right, though. 50-50, right? So... As we got this time, the Volume 5, box number 7, BAM Geek Box. So stay tuned. I will be having the BAM Horror Box coming up here very shortly. I have that next to me over here. 
we'll do that very soon in the next video or, or so. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. So uh, Bam Geek, I'm out.